An acute plaque rupture with total occlusion of the coronary artery and subsequent transmural infarction causes ST elevation, myocardial infarction, or STEMI. It is characterized by ischemia and infarction with necrosis of the entire thickness of the myocardium. It may produce changes affecting both depolarization and repolarization with resultant ST elevation. Reciprocal ST depressions and T-wave changes can be seen in the setting of STEMI. However, it is important to remember that when ST elevations are seen in two contiguous leads in the same territory, always address it as a primary process and attribute the ST depressions and T-wave inversions found elsewhere as secondary ischemic changes. The third universal definition of acute myocardial infarction published in 2012 defined significant ST elevations as new ST elevations in two contiguous leads of greater or equal than 0.1 millivolt or one small box of one millimeter. However, in leads V2 or V3, the cutoff is greater and the ST elevation must be greater or equal than one and a half small boxes in women and greater or equal than two boxes in men. Over time, the ST elevation and the T wave changes resolve completely. However, when there is necrosis due to infarct, a persistent and irreversible Q wave will be present in the infarcted territories. In order to be considered significant on the EKG, the Q wave must be at least one millimeter or one small box in width and at least one small box deep. Look at this image in order to appreciate the changes on EKG in patients with STEMIs. As you can see, as the ST segment elevations and the T wave changes improve, a permanent Q wave will develop and persist.